Hey, everybody. Welcome to Mahoney Matters Interviews. I'm Chris, the editor of Mahoney Matters. I uh, got my sports writer, Mike Brown, with me. And uh, we have a special guest, Roy Johnson. Um, tragedy um, struck his family um, back in, I believe, 2008. Um, we lost his son. Uh, he was running a, a race for Watch Branch. Uh, he tragically died. Uh, but, you know, the family is making some great things, raising some money uh, for people in the, in the area. Um, welcome to the show, Roy. How are you today? Very much. What was it? Yeah. Like, oh, um, what was it like uh, when the um, when Ryan tragically passed uh, back in 08? I know it's so hard when you have kids; you never want to lose them early. Um, what do you remember about that day? Well, it was a. I was actually helping timing the race. I was one of the volunteers. Um, and it was a special day because uh, my wife was actually there, and normally she had to work. Uh, my daughter was there, um, and they were sitting up in the stands, and um, he was actually the very first runner. The very first event was 4 by 800 um, and passed off the baton and uh, just walked off the track and passed away right there. Um, the emergency crews were there. And this was back when the schools were just getting the keys uh, and there was only one at the school and they sent the fastest kid they had, the sprinter, over to the school to get it. And it just, it wasn't needed because it, it wouldn't have helped, but um, the local paramedics, uh, the, the fire department, they showed up right away, um, but it just... Um, it, there wasn't anything that could be done. He he was gone at that point. And uh, you know, I think we had talked off the air. I was there that day. My son was on the track team with Ryan Johnson, and, and it was such a tragic day. And but uh, I think something, so something good has come out of something that was so tragic, Roy. Has it not? With the Ryan Johnson Memorial Run, and 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 yeah. tons of people locally and outside the area supported every year, and and it just it just keeps getting better. I mean, there's so many nice things about it. And it's such a good cause. It goes for scholarships for deserving West Branch senior athletes. And, you know, I, you know, I've, I think I've been to almost every one of the races and uh, it's very well attended. Yep. Um, after um, the tragedy was, you know, we're, we're getting used to everything. Yeah. Uh, I had gotten a phone call from uh, a friend, one of Ryan's old coaches, uh, youth coach, uh, mm -hmm. Bob Bomford. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, went to visit him and he had happened to be out of town. He, he knew about it, but he couldn't fly back in time. And he said, we got to start something. We got to mm -hmm. do something. And that's where we came up with the idea because him and his wife were both owners that we came up with the, the 5k. Um, and it was um, a great thing. And he gave me all kinds of ideas. And uh, um, at, even to this day, I go to other races to find out what we can do to improve our race. Um, mm -hmm. we're getting about, uh, um, 150, 200 runners. We're, we're shooting for that every year. Um, uh, the, um, <laughs> the weather has a lot to do with it. And <laughs> as you earlier, uh, this is our 16th uh, year. We've had two nice years of weather at uh, 16 years. Um, <laughs> it's either high winds or, uh, we had tornado warnings uh, an hour before uh, the one race. Uh, so it was just, uh, you never know what's going to happen. Um, and uh, you talk to these, I, I call them professional runners, these athletes that just love to run. They sort of like a little drizzle, a little rain. Um, but yeah. the uh, a lot of the older people, they're not too fond of it. Uh, <laughs> but we've got uh, as young as I think six-year-old last year, who did really well uh, mm -hmm. up until uh, we've got, uh, I think this year, 70 years old is our oldest so far, but we've had 80 and 85 year olds run um, it could be mainly because it's a flat course and they really do enjoy um, the tribute. Uh, I hear a lot that uh, some people show up only because they knew Ryan or they knew of Ryan or knew, know our family. Yeah. And uh, that means a lot to us. Yeah. How many people does it take on an annual basis to, to make the Ryan Johnson Memorial go off the success it is, Roy? Up until 
this part of the year, uh, usually till two or three weeks before the race, it's wow. just two people. Wow. Uh, all the running around and get a uh, prize basket and get the awards and everything. Uh, but day of race, it's 10 to 15 people, uh, volunteers that are always out there to help us. Uh, we um, always use the police department to close the road down. Uh, the fire department always shows up and um, they will uh, follow the race, make sure nobody gets hurt or has a problem. The um, local, I always have a local minister uh, show up to, to do a benediction before the race yeah. uh, because we do have that faith. And yes. a lot of these runs, um, they, they like that. I mean, our, our logo or our name of our race is Runners Believe. Um, and they do they believe in something, you know, there's something that makes them run yeah. and they know. God. Yeah. Uh, I would think, you know, because Ryan was, was a young man of faith, that's got to make it uh, extra special to have a race that, you know, you get so many people, uh, with a strong faith to show up to support that race on an annual basis. Yes. Yeah. It is really nice to see that. And I, a lot of these people are really proud to wear their shirt, uh, which has the cross with the road running up to it. Yeah. Um, I've heard that stories that people have seen them down by you in Florida. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's amazing how the shirt gets around. Yeah. How many yeah. states have you ever looked back to see how many states have been uh, represented in the in the races overall? I know it's been probably three or four or five. Yeah, at least five. I think yeah. uh, South Carolina was the farthest we had. And it was somebody who was visiting a family member and saw the race, and he he did quite well. Uh, he was a professional runner. Yeah. Uh, but we've got them that they come from uh, from Pennsylvania, some from Michigan, um, Cleveland, uh, you know, in the Ohio area. Um, we do have quite a few that show. Well, it, let's just sort of share the information. So it's the Ryan Johnson Memorial Five K. It's at West mm -hmm. Branch High School, May eighteenth. Now. The registration technically goes up to May 17th, but if you like a shirt, uh, you need to register by May 4th. And the first 150 pre-registrations get to finish your medals, right? That is correct. Fantastic. Um, it's $25 to uh, sign up for the race. Are you guys raising money for anything, Mister? What do you guys? What does the money go for? We um, we get sponsor money from some of the local businesses. Uh, okay. My boss is very good at that. Um, we also get money from uh, <clears throat> excuse me um, local um, small businesses. You know, uh, fifty, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars that do what they can. Um, but they also now with um, we've changed it in the last couple of years since COVID. The with giving the free medals uh, to the first 150, mm -hmm. they um, we give prize baskets for each age category winner, um, and it goes from nine and under up to 71 and over. Every five years, uh, we'll get a, a prize basket, men's and women's, okay. and that's what uh, a lot of our sponsors really enjoy making baskets up for that. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think uh, you were saying, too, I think uh, this is one of the races where people get well-fed after the race, too. Do you get people to donate yeah. food items and, and, th and soft drinks and things like and water uh, after a race, Roy? One of the, the local markets, uh, Bruner's Market, they donate all the meat and cheese. Uh, and we make about 300 sandwiches. Um, and the bread is, is purchased, but they give me a really good deal on it. Uh, mm -hmm. And the people from the church and the family get together the day before the race, and we we make all the uh, the sandwiches up, and and Bruner's uh, um, helps out with that. And uh, Bomber Glass, they usually donate the fruit, which is uh, the grapes and the oranges and bananas. Yeah. And we have people that love those quite well. That's great. That's great. So let me ask about this, Roy. Do you, do you guys use the race to raise money for a group, or what do you what do you how do you handle that? 
I believe there's a committee, is there not, Roy? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, I think oh. I, th I think there's a, a committee that determines where the scholarship, who the scholarship recipients are each year. Is that how that is, Roy? Yeah, the 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 scholarship recipients um, uh, have to fill out an application at West Branch High School, mm -hmm. um, and it's just. All right. Well, well I, th I think technology, we may have lost Roy for a second there. But, I, Mike, from what Roy was saying, it, look, it sounds like the proceeds go to for scholarships. For right. It goes for the West Ryan Branch. Johnson Memorial okay. Scholarship Fund. And I believe there's a committee that selects uh, the, the uh, recipients of that every year. And then, uh, and I think that's, and I believe Roy is back now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Roy, we were talking about. Is there a committee that selects the scholarship recipients, and and uh, when is that announced and things like that? Well, the the recipient, yeah, a committee picks them, and used to be through the church we were at, uh -huh. um, and now it's, uh, more through our uh, uh, race committee and through the nonprofit uh, people on our committee. Yeah. Uh, three people that read all the uh, applications, and there's a grading scale that we all go by. Yeah. Um, it's all consistent um, in the, uh, like I say, it's a simple five questions. Um, basically, you know, what sports have you been in and what the only real qualification you need is you had to have been in some sport. Yes. Um, sometime in junior or senior high school or school years. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It is more. And like I said, I've been there every year. It's a fantastic race. And I encourage everybody, if you've never participated in this race, uh, check it out because you'll you'll love it. And uh, you'll be well fed afterward and uh, a lot of awards and, and special uh, prizes and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and I've been told by many of the runners that we have one of the flattest courses around. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a very fast course. So if you're looking to get a good time, this yep. would be one to get a good time. Um, in the whole course, there's only like 20 feet difference in elevation. So that's, nice. that's a, a, that's a nice course. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Roy. Yeah. I was going to ask you this before we go. Um, you know, it's been 15 years since the tragedy happened. And like I said, you, you know, whenever you lose a child, it's so tough. How does having an event right. like this help your family remember Ryan too? I mean, it's gotta be a great thing to say of a horrible tragedy. This is something that it, it, sounds like it's bringing the family together i would imagine it's a good way of remembering Ryan. it, it does it uh um and i've always said tragedy comes uh, brings good things um mm -hmm. unfortunately you know there's a lot of tragedy um in the areas uh but it does it, it brings the family together both uh my in-laws they they get involved in this and and they just love doing it uh my wife she helps me out uh immensely uh, my daughter does what she can, especially the day of, because she uh, actually coaches uh, at Mount Union. So it, it's tough for her. But, um, yeah, we all get together, um, and we spend a whole lot of time going over things, you know, sitting in our chair at night and say, what do we got to do next? And this got to get done. And so our, our planning is after the evening meal, we sit down and start planning the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the race actually. The the, the uh, start of the next year's race starts the day after the race because we have to get the, the date approved by the school. We have to, to, to contact the state to, because we use the state route. We have to get it closed. Yeah. And, and that's another thing is a lot of races do not have a closed course. This is yeah. a completely closed course. Cars will not be on the, on the course. Right. Um, so. A lot of times, uh, a lot of communities will just give a race director one lane to, to all their people to run in. Yeah. Um, and so we we do have a great community. Um, the local people here are fantastic. They always have been. They've supported us since the day he passed. Um, there was uh, um, over 4,000 people showed up to his funeral. Um, so it was it just amazed us uh, 
how far people came for that. Yeah. Uh, people that barely knew him knew of him, and they, yeah. they just show up. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'm glad that you've taken a tragedy like this that is almost being a dad myself is, can be almost unthinkable, and just making a, a real positive something that brings your family together and helps uh, kids that could use help, you, you know, throughout the years. Uh, what way of, you know, building that legacy that Ryan left. Uh, yep. So. And uh, I think you would approve of what we're doing. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he would. Yep. I, I, I believe in heaven. You, you've got an idea of things that are going on down here. So I think there's some way that I'm sure Ryan knows, and maybe he's got a nice front row seat, you know, to watch the race each year. I have a feeling that's the case. All right, well, Rory, yeah. hang on for a second yeah. after, but I, I need to say running God's errands, you know, because he yes. always, yes. for him, he loved to run. Uh, um, he would come home from, from practice and he'd grab his sister and say, let's go run. Um, <laughs> Definitely. That's what he did. Yep. That's great. All right. Well, well, Rory, thanks so much. Again, yep. the event's coming at May 18th. We'll have information on the site on how to sign up. If you want to get a shirt, great. please yeah. uh, register by May 4th. Sounds like there's a lot of great things going on uh, during the event. And obviously, it goes to good cause helping West Branch athletes uh, who need scholarships, obviously, to go on to college. Um, thanks, Roy, for your time. Hang on for a second afterwards. And have a great day, everybody. Thank you, sir.